The New Zealand Blood Service needs to collect approximately 3,000 donations every week to meet requirements, which are split up into whole blood, plasma and platelet donations. We're currently looking for whole blood donors to become plasma donors. Plasma is the gold-coloured liquid part of blood that carries blood cells, water, proteins and clotting factors around the body and makes up just over half of the total blood volume. Donated plasma can be used to make up to 13 different blood products, which has earned it the title of liquid gold. Plasma-derived products are constantly in demand, with over 90,000 doses issued each year. One of these products, Intragam P, is becoming increasingly useful. It's used for treating numerous conditions where the patient's immune system is compromised and antibody levels are too low to prevent infections. It's also being used to treat many conditions where the body's immune system attacks itself, causing severe problems. Some of these conditions require lifelong treatment for the patients. Plasma donors are a special group of donors that donate just their plasma through a process called apheresis. Apheresis is a terminology, it's a Greek term that means to separate. So that involves using a centrifuge to separate um, the blood products from the donor. They get their red cells returned back and we either collect a full bag of plasma or platelets. Not all blood donors are suitable to give this type of donation and nurses will assess whether the additional eligibility criteria is met to ensure that the donor is able to give by apheresis. Plasma donors can be expected to be called on a regular basis, usually every few weeks. Appointments are essential so that an apheresis collection machine is available for each donor. Beds are assigned for each apheresis donor to ensure we have a constant supply of plasma. On arrival, the usual registration and confidential interview is a mandatory requirement each time, even for regular plasma donors. After the needle is inserted, blood flows into a special machine in cycles, where the plasma is separated from the red cells and collected in a special bag. At the end of each cycle, the red cells are returned to the donor before another cycle begins. It's standard to go through four to five cycles to collect 600 to 800 mils of plasma, depending on the donor's weight. This process takes between 45 minutes and one hour to complete. When completed, all plasma is held in quarantine until the standard donor testing has been completed. This includes blood groups and infections, HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and syphilis. Fresh frozen plasma and cryoprecipitate are processed in our laboratories and dispatched to the blood banks in the hospitals, while the majority of donated plasma is sent to CSL Bering in Melbourne, Australia. Here the plasma is separated and individual proteins purified and concentrated in batches to create up to 13 different blood products, which include important clotting factors, antibodies and albumin. These batches are processed exclusively from plasma donated by New Zealanders and our products are returned to New Zealand for local use. I never expected to be on the receiving end. Um, voluntary blood donations saved my life and I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you guys who gave blood. If you are already a regular blood donor, have suitable veins and fulfil our height and weight criteria, you may be able to join this special panel of plasma donors. Please note that important conditions do apply so if you are interested in joining this special group of blood donors, please contact one of the apheresis centres for more information.